Hello and welcome to vlog number 9. I have a bit of a cold at the moment so sorry if I sound a bit rough. In this one I'll be talking about what I've been working on and what I'm about to start working on, my potential move into a new workshop in the near future, and Tool Talk featuring my new track saw, a new router from Hikoki, a new laptop for video editing and a new worktop security camera system. As usual you'll find the timings for each section on screen now and in the description box below if you want to skip to the parts that you're interested in. Work in progress. Before we get into the project side of things, I just want to let you know that I now have an Amazon affiliate store featuring most of the tools that I use and also some of my favorite accessories, glues, finishes and consumables. And there's a link included in the description box below for that if you want to check it out. If you visit the link and buy something, then I make a few pennies which helps to support the channel. And I've also opened a merch store because I've had a few messages asking about merch so I've designed some stuff which is now available via Teespring. Most of the designs are focused on reclamation and salvaging because that's kind of my niche I guess. Link to that in the description box below too. So I've been keeping really busy. I've had a pretty constant steady flow of commissions and paid work to do recently. I did a few jobs for a local barber shop which were covered in a series of four videos on my channel. I made a mixing board case for a local recording studio and I made some draw box style shelves for an Etsy customer and there'll be a video for that one coming soon. And in the pipeline I've got three more commissions lined up which I'll probably cover in videos. Firstly a dartboard cabinet which I'm going to make using some walnut veneered MDF. A vehicle number plate plaque which is going to live outside so that's going to be a little bit different to the stuff I normally do. It'll need to be protected from the weather. All of that paid work has meant that I could also do a few jobs for my brother like the bookcase cabinet conversion project that I covered in two videos on my channel recently and also this ladder style shelving unit build which I've also made a video about and that one will be released soon. I also made some solid beach chopping boards recently and I didn't film that project because I think there are enough chopping board videos on YouTube already. Plus it's quite nice to do some woodworking without the hassle of filming and editing every now and again. I made those just to use up some small and awkward shaped slabs of beach that I had. It seemed like a good way to use them up. Those are now for sale on my Etsy page if you're interested in checking them out. A new workshop. Exciting news, it's looking likely that I'll be moving workshop in the next couple of months. I really feel like I've outgrown this one, it's fine for smaller projects but every time I do anything on a bigger scale it just doesn't work. A few months ago my partner Ria and I put in an offer on a new home outside of the city of Norwich where we live at the moment. We were looking for a place with more space not only inside the house itself but also somewhere either with more land so that I could build a new larger workshop or with some sort of outbuilding that I could use as a workshop. Our offer was accepted but it's taken a few months to get to a point where we've got a complete property chain of buyers and sellers. The chain is actually quite long and that's all sorted now too so we should hopefully be moving within a couple of months. I'm hoping we'll be moving sometime in May providing everything goes according to plan. The new house is a bungalow, it's about half an hour drive outside of the city of Norwich and it has more space than we could have ever hoped we might be able to afford, mainly because it's A, in a more remote location where we can get more for our money and B, because it does need a lot of work. The layout of the rooms doesn't make a lot of sense at the moment so we're going to be making lots of changes which will also cost a lot of money and it comes with quite a bit of land too plus a single garage which is attached to the house which we'll be using for storage and the best part a detached pitched roof double garage which I'm planning to use as my new workshop. I'm so excited about it it's a lot more workspace than I ever imagined I would have. Just for comparison, my current workshop is 4.1 by 2.7 meters internally, which is 11 square meters. The new shop is 5.8 by 6.2 meters, which is 36 square meters. That means it's more than three times the size of my current workshop. It's so big that not only will I not need to work outside in the garden as much as I've been doing lately, especially on some of the bigger jobs, but I'll also have room to store all of my salvaged wood and materials which I currently store in a garage that I pay to rent and that's about 10 minutes drive from my home so I'm really excited to be able to have all of my materials and my workspace under one roof. 
Because the workshop has a pitched roof, I might also be able to utilise some of the space at the top as extra storage space. I also plan to insulate all of the walls to try to minimise noise levels as much as possible. Not only to limit the amount of noise that I make from the workshop for the sake of my new neighbours, but also to limit the amount of sound coming into the workshop because it's quite close to a busy road and I want to be able to continue filming videos without a lot of that background noise from the road. So this summer is looking like it's going to be really busy. Not only will we be doing lots of work in the bungalow, but I'll also need to set up everything in the new workshop. I'll need to do all of the insulating, cladding. I'll also need new tool walls, a new mitre station, new work tables, wood storage, and all of that stuff. I'm also going to need a new higher powered air filtration system than the one I have currently, and new dust extraction pipes and blast gates. I'm hoping to be able to keep putting out weekly videos to cover a lot of those projects but I might not be able to because we're just going to be so busy. I'll just have to see how that goes. Stay tuned for more in the next couple of months. I'm excited to show you the new space. Tool talk. Lots of new things to talk about in this one. I finally got a track saw, a tool which I've wanted for a long time but I've always managed fine without one just using my Hikoki circular saw and a straight edge to guide the cut. So it wasn't something I was totally desperate for, plus I was holding out for a cordless one that I could afford on a battery platform that I already use. Anyway, I was browsing Amazon one day and saw a good deal for the Makita DSP600 priced at £230, which was a really good price. I already have a few Makita batteries and this saw takes two batteries to deliver 36 volts of power. It's different to the Hikoki 36 volt system though, which manages to deliver 36 volts of power in just one battery. As the Makita uses two batteries, it does add a bit of weight to the unit, but as it's a tool that's designed to be pushed along a track, the extra weight isn't too much of an issue for this tool. It also has a very thin blade fitted, it's just one and a half millimeters thick. I also needed to buy some track and rather than buying the Makita track and accessories which are pretty expensive, I went for Evolution ones which were also a really good deal. Two 1.4 meter tracks, two clamps, joining bars and a carry case all for £70 on Amazon. If I were to get all of those things by Makita, the price would have been over £150, so that's a nice saving. And the Evolution tracks are perfectly good and straight, the saw fits on them really well, and we'll see how we get on with them. I've not used any of this stuff yet, but I will do very soon. Link to both the track saw and the track accessories by Evolution in the description box below if you're interested in checking them out. Hikoki kindly sent me their quarter inch plunge router to try out. This is the M8 V2 and it looks and feels like a beast. It's been a long time since I last used a plunge router. I do have another one by Draper, but I just don't like it. So I've just been using a little trim router for everything instead. I've not yet used the Hikoki on a project yet, but in a few weeks I should be using it while working on an exciting collaboration project with Hikoki and a few other fantastic YouTube makers too. So stay tuned for that. Link to the Hikoki router in the description box below too. I also bought some new spring clamps. Amazon was selling 20 of these 6 inch ones for £20 and as we all know you can never have enough clamps. I'll link to those below too. A few weeks back my old laptop, the Lenovo Yoga 900, developed some sort of power issue and I was told it was probably something to do with the motherboard. And I bought the Dell XPS 15 which had been recommended to me as a great laptop for video editing and I've been really happy with it. The screen is bigger and it's so bright and punchy compared to my old laptop. And it runs much, much faster. I'll put the specs on screen now if you're interested. I managed to get a good deal on mine from Amazon Renewed, which is where you can buy items that have been factory restored. And most of the items there are as good as new, but they are much, much cheaper. And I got this laptop for around 1,300 pounds. I also got a Dell docking station so that I could connect up the new laptop to my two monitors and speakers and all of that stuff. Finally, a company called Yescamo got in touch with me a few months back asking if I'd like to try out some of their new security cameras and I thought it'd be great to set them up outside my workshop because I hear a lot about people breaking into sheds and stealing tools. Just for full disclosure, I didn't pay for these, they sent them to me for free to try out and review in a video and that's what this is now. The set that they sent me consists of two cameras and a 7 inch monitor and they all work wirelessly so they connect over Wi-Fi, you just need to plug in a power supply to each device and insert an SD card into the monitor which records footage every time motion is detected. 
You can also get notifications to your phone each time motion is detected and you can stream video on your phone too to see what's going on. You can also use it as an intercom by talking into the phone and that gets sent to the camera which has a speaker built into it. The cameras also have LED lights built into them so they work as a kind of security light as well. Alternatively you can turn the LED lights off and it can still film in the dark using infrared. Before installing these to my workshop I first set them up around my home so that I could see what my cat gets up to throughout the day when I'm out of the house. And that worked really well. Everything was pretty easy to set up and the cameras themselves feel like they're really good quality. They feel well made and are quite heavy. The monitor doesn't feel as well made if I'm honest, it's very plasticky, but it works just fine and it's a nice to have. And Yeskimo have a few different packages available so you can just buy the cameras on their own, cameras and a monitor, and you can also get the cameras with a hard drive recorder unit so there are plenty of different options. The image quality is really quite impressive, I was pleasantly surprised by that and the LED lights are nice and powerful too. So if you're looking for a security system to keep your shed, workshop or even your house secure, I think they're definitely worth checking out. I'll leave links to some of the Eskimo products in the description box below. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more weekly woodworking videos if you haven't already. You can also support the channel on Patreon if you'd like to receive early access to my videos, project cut lists and plans, exclusive content and a name credit at the end of my videos. Thank you for watching.